I've been riding for such a long time. I've been watching MotoGP and so many other kind of racing. I know what they should do and what they should not do. Maybe I cannot do that, but I know how it goes, no? We can know when that guy is over revving his bike, when he's not changing fast enough, we'll know by years alone and by seeing what he's doing, then we'll correct him if he wants to be corrected. Take it easy on the practice, huh? Tama box war. Okay, road fell local tech. Why is everyone riding my bike? Hey, Pedro, let me a bike. My name is Banal Mona, and most people call me Montea. You know, it means, uh, Van means sky or heaven. Mona means peace, peace in heaven or something like that. <laughs> I'm a normal child, but I'm not the kind who goes out and play and, you know, like, uh, started screaming. My auntie's husband has a bullet. Whenever he comes, I'll jump on his bike and act as if I'm riding the bike. So from then on, I think uh, that buck has already bitten me. <laughs> I used to save my whatever pocket money I have and buy a second-hand uh, imported bike magazine. They used to cost around 12 rupees. I've sacrificed a lot of uh, kulfis and vadas and uh, samosas to get this uh, magazine. So this will be with me as long as I can keep them. <laughs> the suits are like very <laughs> classic, you know. This is Eddie Lawson, Wayne Rainey. Yeah, this is Kevin Shawns, that guy with the number 34. So we personalize our helmet. This is me. When you go on a ride, you concentrate on your ride only. Then you forget everything else. I need to go at least, you know, up to a certain level to achieve that uh, zone, you know? When we first met, he was really into bikes, and he's still that same person. When we first got married, we had a bike in our room. <laughs> <laughs> he told me when we first got married, even when I'm all old with a white beard and everything, I'll still be riding a bike. My first bike is a Yamaha RD350. I had to beg and cry and whatnot, no. At that was the one who gave the go-ahead, so she's quite surprised also that uh, he gave the go-ahead. I'm afraid of uh, having an accident, that's why I oppose for so long. His passion is bikes. He makes a living out of it somehow. I think he would do it for free, do everything for free. <laughs> Most of the young guys, they are racing on the streets. They need to vent that energy, no? And uh, so many of the guys were dying on the street, injuring other people, uh, creating nuisance for the society. So we were thinking, let's take all these young guys with lots of energy and let's make a place for them where they can vent out their energy. Do 
Imperial Airfield used to be the main airport for Mizoram. To land bigger planes on that airstrip, they have to expand the airfield. And that's actually not possible because it's situated on top of a hill. Then slowly, slowly, some younger kids came to know that, that there is a big plot of land uh, which is free and everybody can go and like do whatever they want with the bike. After some time, it becomes very dangerous because everybody is going this side and somebody is coming from the opposite side. We felt that create a motorsport body so we can like organize a proper racing here in this abandoned airstrip. So we started Mimsa like that. Uh, this is uh, KK's place, KK's Den. Uh, see, every morning, this is a go-to place. We come here for Didi's Chai and Didi's Puri. All the racers come here, plus the Mimsa guys. We discuss about bikes and life in general. Peka. Tim is a computer guy. Indonesia, Thailand, he's the guy who's sourcing all the parts from there. Mr. Anu, he's the only RD mechanics here in Aizol. It's Laloma. He tuned the R15 so fast that he can compete with KTM D398. It's a very close knit community, this racing in Aizol. So it's because of these guys only that Mimsa is functioning like as it is now. I myself rode on the track. I take this curve, then go back and like change the settings slightly. So all that I have to take into account how to set the track. The guys who are enthusiastic about racing and who are good, all of them are not from Vela family. I don't know why the guys from Broken Family are good riders. That still bugs me today. I don't know the reason, but uh, it's like that. Usually, you know, when uh, kids are very aggressive, there's a story behind their aggression. Since uh, she's a teacher, so she's having a lot of experience on that kind of thing. Unless there's someone to guide them, and someone to tell them what's right and wrong. I think a few of them do come from uh, broken yeah. families. <laughs> they need guidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. The way we run uh, practice is uh, something like a mini race. We'll put five or six guys with a compatible machine, and we'll let them live around three to four seconds in interval. Stuff like this. Don't like it. Uh, because uh, he used to ride it uh, at very high speed and it's dangerous. My riding is very safe, no? <laughs> I still worry. I worry not just about him but also his friends. Unless and until they're back home, I don't really relax. We are stuck together. The good, the bad, all through the downs. Don't I, go to full details, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he got his first bike. From there on, his life is changing also. We are changing with our bikes. He's an inspiration for many. I know, I never told him because he'll be proud between us also. <laughs> he'll be like that. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I used to ride alone before I met Montea. But when we ride together, there is a sense of companionship that feels really great. It's like you're in a group, you're there for each other. That is something that's different. So I think that's what really gets us together. You know, riding is not always uh, not about uh, going fast and all that. It has to be safe. Uh, how is he on uh, that corner? Yeah, right. uh, Why am I in this corner? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's one more thing. Nah. <laughs> There's this small bit of competition between each other, huh? <laughs> unseen and untold. <laughs> and that feels good, no? He's the one who teaches us those safety ridings. So he's our teacher and a friend.
See, we have a WhatsApp group. Everybody knows when everybody is free, usually on the weekend. So it goes on like that. The roads here are all zigzag, and that is very important in racing. I don't know if it's just in the genes. I think the people from the northeast, our reflexes are very fast. I have seen. Right now, the whole of India is actually looking at us like a bright shining star in the northeast where uh, motorsport is happening, you know. Lots of responsibility have fallen on him with this rookie cup and the young kids. If I am in this person, I, I would have given up lots of time. It's like this, a biker leading all the bikers in Aizol. We can say that. He's a real enthusiast. See, money is not everything. Money cannot buy you happiness. It can never buy uh, what I feel today, like seeing my boy standing at the top of the podium with all those big trophies, winning the championship, that kind of feeling money can never buy. That is what I get from getting myself involved with motorsport and uh, from Bimsa. That is why I, I'm there.